since you guys got the previous video to over a thousand plus likes, I promise you guys that I will give you guys every single card that this game has to offer on beating the most overpowered Yu-Gi-Oh deck in today's metagame. I'm a man of my words, bro. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So today we're gonna be breaking down the best cards against Mystic Mind. So you know what, before that, if you guys can give this video to 2,000 plus likes, I'm gonna jump off this window right here. I'm kidding, obviously I'm not gonna do that. Why would you guys wanna see me hurt myself? That's, that's just a, a terrible thing. Like, what is wrong with you? Let me explain to you guys what this card does real quick. So it's a field spell that reads, opponent controls more monster than you do. Your opponent cannot attack or activate monster effect. If you control more monster than your opponent, you cannot activate monster effect or declare an attack. And once per turn during the end phase, if you and your opponent control the same number of monsters, destroy this card. So just a quick note, if your opponent controls zero monsters and you control zero monsters, Mystic Mind will get destroyed. So the whole idea behind Mystic Mind is to lock your opponent from being unable to attack and at the same time activate monster effect. The deck's entire strategy is to also also burn your opponent's life points to death with burn cards like Just Desert, Secret Barrel, Secret Blast, Ring of Destruction, Wave Motion Cannon, you guys name it. Uh, the deck is literally Chain Burn 2.0 with the new addition to Mystic Mind. So with Mystic Mind being included the deck, the deck just got even more powerful than it already is. So the first category that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the removal category. How can we effectively remove this card while it's on the field? So the best ways to actually remove Mystic Mind is using cards like Mystical Space Siphon. You guys can use cards like Twin Twister. You guys can use cards like Typhoon. You guys can also use cards like Cosmic Cyclone. So once you're going to activate Metaverse, you can activate cards like Twin Twister on resolution of Metaverse to basically target uh, the Mystic Mind that just destroyed. You can do the same thing with MST, Cosmic Cyclones, Typhoons, anything that basically just destroys spawn and trap cards is just really effective uh, against uh, Mystic Mind. So one of the best removals in today's metagame right now is obviously Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters should be in everyone's side deck. It's either your main deck in Twin Twisters or your side deck in Twin Twister. So Twin Twister is one of the most effective ways to actually get rid of multiple back rows and at the same time get rid of Mystic Mind. And the best way to play against this deck is to hold your spell and trap card removal for the Mystic Mind. Never, if you're playing against any deck that sets five and pass, do not just blind Twin Twister. Do not just blind MST. Don't do any of that. Be smart and wait till they activate Mystic Mind then chain Twin Twister to just kill, you know, Mystic Mind and also one of their back rows on the side of the field, which is really good. So that's some of the cool removal cards that you guys can actually use uh, to play against this deck. So the next category I wanna talk about is how can we prevent Mystic Mind in general from being activated? So the best way to actually prevent Mystic Mind from being activated is using cards like Red Reboot. On your opponent's turn, once they activate Metaverse, chain Red Reboot, Metaverse will get negated, and at the same time, all their other trap cards in their back row will get negated as well. But the thing about Red Reboot is that you have to gain them that turn. If you don't gain them that turn, they're gaming you next turn because they're gonna have like five back rows. They're gonna be able to set a trap card directly from their deck to the side of the field. Uh, you know, they can just set just dessert and they also have metaverse as well. They can just reactivate it next turn, okay? Using Red Reboot, you'll pay half your life, right? So once you pay half your life, they'll just activate two burn cards like, you know, just dessert and secret barrel and then you basically just lose the game, right? So with Red Reboot, you have to make sure that you can OTK your opponent on that turn. So Red Reboot is just a really good option. There's also a really cool, unique uh, card as well called Called Close Forest. Close Forest literally says that field spells cannot be activated while this card is on the field. And also at the same time, you're gonna turn this card is destroyed. Field spell cards cannot be activated, which is really awesome. If you guys want, you guys can also side that cards like Prohibition. Prohibition is also a really good card. Activate Prohibition, call Mystic Mind. Your opponent is unable to activate Mystic Mind uh, off Metaverse, things like that, which is really awesome. And at the same time, Prohibition can just uh, cover a vast variety of decks. You guys can call Gazelle in the Simon Great Matchup. You can call what? Uh, Servant uh, against Pendulums. You can do whatever you guys want. You can even call Nightmare Mermaid against Orcus. Like, it's so good, right? The card is just very versatile. The next card I want to talk about is Denko Seca. A lot of people can actually incorporate Denko Seca into their deck, especially Pendulums, because they don't have to rely on their normal summon at all, right? So, Pendulums, you guys should definitely side three Denko Secas from now on. Obviously, Mystic Mind players aren't dumb. No one is ever going to activate Metaverse on standby phase. No one's going to do that. Because if you activate Metaverse on standby phase, all you got to do is just end your turn. Like, don't summon a monster, just end your turn. And then Mystic Mind will get destroyed. In yesterday's video, a lot of people were like, Sam, why don't you just chain Metaverse on the Pendulum scale? If I chain Metaverse on the Pendulum scale, they'll just end their turn. And since we control zero monsters, 
Mystic Mind will get destroyed, right? So the best way to activate Metalverse is when they summon a monster. In Pendulums, you guys have a very upper advantage by just dropping Denko Seka like it's hot. At the same time, Denko Seka covers a vast variety of decks. It's really good against True Dracos. It's really good against Salomon Greats. Really good against back row heavy decks, guy strikers. Denko Seka just covers a lot of matchups. If you guys decide Denko Seka, I'll recommend you guys siding her. The next card I like to talk about is Anti Spell Fragrance. You guys probably never even knew that Anti Spell Fragrance is really good against Mystic Mind. The reason why Anti Spell Fragrance is just so good is because one, if you can flip Anti Spell, all the draw cards in the Mystic Mind deck is just dead. Okay? It's dead. They can't use Extravagance, they can't use Demise, they can't use Duality, and most importantly, they can't activate Mystic Mind. They have to set the Mystic Mind, okay, before activating it. Two, it stops Metaverse. Anti spell stop metaverse. And what I mean by this is that if you use anti spell fragments, they have to use metaverse's effect to add the card to the hand. Okay? They need to add Mystic Mind to the hand because they can't directly activate Mystic Mind directly from the deck because anti spell says that before either player can activate a spell card, they have to set it the turn before. Can't activate Mystic Mind directly from the deck because anti spell is on the field. So they have to add Mystic Mind to the hand. So once they add it to the hand, they have to set it again before activating it, which is insane, right? So with Anti-Spell, it takes Metaverses, it takes Metaverse three turns for Mystic, uh, for Mystic Mind to resolve. That's broken. By the, th by the third turn, your opponent won't have a turn. You're already gonna win. Solomon grades OTK like it's nothing, and you also got Helio to bounce back each back row into the deck. Yo, like, the Mystic Mind player is not going to survive three turns if, the, if you activate Anti-Spell. So Anti-Spell Fragrance is the best card against this deck. You guys probably didn't even know that. You guys probably didn't even know that. And shout out to my boy Abdul for telling me that. That's, that's insane. Anti-Spell wrecks Mystic Mind and also wrecks Metaverse. It's ridiculous. Like, it's, it's so good. So good. Anti-Spell Fragrance, if you can side it, make sure you guys side it. And at the same time, it covers a vast variety of decks. Not only does it stop the Mystic Mind matchup, but it also stops the Sky Striker matchup and also wrecks Pendulum as a whole. So if you guys have the ability to side Anti-Spell, I would definitely recommend you guys siding three of those things. Some of the ways you guys can actually prevent um, Mystic like Mind from being activated is ashing the Metaverse. You can ash the Metaverse because Metaverse has two effects, once to activate it and also one to add to hand. So since both are in one effect. You can easily just Ash Blossom your opponent uh, on the Metaverse, right? Which is uh, really, really good. So those are two categories that you guys can definitely use uh, to get you guys some ideas on what you guys can actually side uh, against this deck. There's also cards that give your opponent monsters like Black Garden. You know, you can give your opponent more monsters uh, with Black Garden because at the same time, Black Garden, whenever you summon a monster, your opponent will also get a token, right? So at the end phase, since you control the same amount of monsters, Mystic Mind will get destroyed. But Black Garden is not practical. Like, it's it's not a practical card to side. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I wanna give you guys the most practical ways to actually beat this deck. No one is gonna side Black Garden. Even though it can potentially stop Mystic Mind, no one's gonna side it. Like, why side, why waste three extra side deck spots for Black Garden? Like, where you can just play triple anti-spell, triple twin twister, which is far more effective than playing triple Black Garden in the side deck, right? Like, you need to understand that when you guys are side decking against specific decks, you have to side deck cards that are just really good, really good against vast variety of decks. You know what I mean? So, Black Garden just to solely side for uh, Mystic Mind is just ridiculous. Same thing for Closed Forest. Like, Closed Forest is a good card to prevent Mystic Mind from being activated, but it's not a practical card. Like, why would you waste three side deck spot for close fours. Like close four is only really good against Mystic Mind specifically. But when you're side deck in and you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, you wanna play cards that can just be sided against every single deck in today's meta, right? So you guys gotta be smart on what you guys siding. So the two non-practical cards are probably close fours and black card. And don't don't side those cards. Like it doesn't make sense. Don't don't side those cards, guys. They're they're bad. And the last category that I want to talk about is decks that can just destroy it. Uh, Mystic Mind. So the first and foremost, we'll talk about Sky Strikers. Sky Strikers have a really easy matchup against uh, Mystic Mind because they have searchable spawn trap card removals, right? Searchable spawn trap card removals, which is insane. True Dracos literally auto wins against Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind literally cries when they see Draco. Draco is their worst matchup. Really powerful deck against Mystic Mind. Uh, what else is really good? Salomon Greats have an okay matchup against Mystic Mind. Like if your opponent can set up Mystic Mind before uh, you can get access to a Rage, it will be a pretty hard time 
for you to actually come back against Mystic Mind. But if Simon gets to set up uh, Rage and constantly keep recycling Rage, the deck has no problem against Mystic Mind. So those are the top three decks that you guys can definitely use to counter Mystic Mind. And the worst deck to play against Mystic Mind is any Seclas Dot deck. Any Seclas Light Dot deck immediately auto loses to Mystic Mind because they have no main deck removal to get rid of Mystic Mind, right? The only spell card they have in the deck is Triple Seconds Light, and that's pretty much it. So Seconds Light, it's not a good idea to face uh, against uh, the Mystic Mind deck. So that's pretty much for this video. Hopefully I helped you guys a lot. The most practical side deck cards that I would recommend you guys using is anti Spell Fragrance, Red Reboot, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Ash Blossom. Those are the most practical ways to use against Mystic Mind. All the other cards you guys can definitely uh, consider as well playing in the side deck like MST, Cosmic Cyclones, Typhoons, all those other cards you guys can use as well. But the most practical uh, ways to beat the deck is the card I just listed. Do not use non-practical cards like Close Force or Black Garden like it just doesn't make any sense. Like, like why waste a side deck space, right? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys smash 2,000 plus likes. If you guys get this video to 2,000 plus likes, I'll give you guys the best Orcus deck profile that this world has ever seen. All right? Got it ready, got it ready. Browse the website, buy a mat, uh, and just help support what I do, man. You guys are really awesome. I love you guys so much. If you guys watch this video to the end, you guys will have no problem again, Mystic Mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the D's with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this league business.